What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing First Stop Anywhere But Here, which is in Halo 3 ODST, beat the part-time on NMPD HQ. So this is going to be pretty quick. At least the first 90% of this level is just running straight through it. And then at the end we do actually have to hold out and kill a bunch of enemies. But for now we're just going to run past those enemies and totally ignore them. You can see right here, this is the first section with enemies. I'm just running straight through the middle and to this doorway, which is going to lead us to the next section. Same thing here, jump on this crate, jump up here. You could kill that carbine guy if you'd like. You probably don't even need to kill him. You probably don't need to kill anybody uh, in these first sections until the end. Uh, because we're just running past them and it's on easy, so they're really not going to do a lot of damage to us at all. So keep on moving. You could do this on co-op if you'd like. Uh, it doesn't really matter for these first parts but the last part might matter a little bit because you're just trying to kill as many enemies as quickly as possible to get the level to end so it might be a little bit easier on co-op well it would definitely be easier on co-op but I mean come on it's pretty easy on solo as well you just gotta kill everybody real fast so we could do this with any skulls on as well uh, I don't have any on in particular here uh, you can do this on any difficulty if you'd like but obviously it's the quickest and easiest to do it on easy so I threw a grenade up at that guy to get him to uh, get off that turret so he wouldn't shoot at me. That doesn't really matter on easy probably, uh, but I just do it out of habit from doing the speed runs on legendary and also just Lazo and everything because I ran through this on Lazo as well. Uh, if you didn't catch those, my Lazo guides are posted here on this channel, so check that out if you are in need of some Lazo assistance. At this point I grabbed a beam rifle and a sniper rifle. So the beam rifle I'm just going to use to shoot these enemies. If you're comfortable moving down this narrow bridge and shooting and zooming at the same time, then by all means do it. But obviously if you're uh, less fluent in the walking and shooting, uh, you may fall off while you're doing this. So definitely do what's comfortable. Uh, if you can't do this, both these things at the same time, uh, just you know don't do that and you won't walk off. So we're at the end of the level here already about two minutes in. The part time for this I should say is 10 minutes. I finish this in about nine minutes. I also get killed by my teammates twice in this run through so that lost me a good amount of time. So you could definitely do it in under nine minutes. Uh, that's when I came in around. But right now we're just going to shoot as many banshees as we can out of the sky and also phantoms are dropped in here which drop off enemies so dear god that was a terrible laser. I'm, uh, I'm vaguely recalling at this point that this was a terrible uh, run on the laser front. So get ready for that. Hopefully we can take out this phantom. There we go. Very nice. And obviously the missile pod can lock on to any nearby aircraft. So you want to do that when you can. Jeez, man. I thought that guy was in front of the building there, but apparently not. He got that one, though. I told you this wasn't a great laser experience. There we go. We got two in a row, though. Watch out. And oh, back to uh, back to being terrible. There we go. So obviously there's a bunch of health around this pelican. There are a bunch of missile pods that have been detached from their mount. So they only have a limited amount of ammo. Oh man, this phantom is down here. I should have uh, blown up that phantom before he dropped off all his troops. Not cool. Now i got to deal with all these people. You want to try to blow them up, obviously, before they drop off all their troops, because then you don't have to deal with them, and then you're saving a lot of time by not having to deal with all these infantry. You really just want to be able to focus on all the aircraft and end the level quicker. So let's kill some more uh, Banshees, shall we? Nope, no, let's not do that. This one, we could get this one. Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm like, he's coming straight at me. This is an easy shot. And then he turned around, and I'm like, oh boy. There, there's another missed shot. I told you this was a terrible terrible display of lasermanship or if that's a word it's probably not definitely not but you know what I'm talking about I prepared you for this though you can't uh, you can't yell at me in the comments for terrible lasering I already pointed it out I already owned it all right got that one I should just stick to the missile pod at this point oh whoa guy almost went out of uh, the range but you can see they lock on which is great so those unlimited Missile pod turrets are something you definitely want to jump on. Oh, gonna get on it again. Just uh, spike uh, rifle that grunt. One of my few spike rifle kills in this game. 
There we go. You can see I dropped that Banshee or that Phantom before he was able to deploy his uh, ground troops, so I don't have to deal with them at all anymore, so that saved me a bunch of time. And again, I was killed twice by my Marines or my ODSTs over here. I think Mickey killed me once and Dutch killed me once. Um, all that's left is Buck to kill me now in a future level, but we'll see. So there's two lasers on this pad we're on right here. Uh, they're totally full of ammo, so that's nice. You can kill, theoretically, ten enemies, or ten banshees, with the two lasers, between the two lasers. Uh, ideally, you could kill more if you line them up perfectly and get multiple banshees with one shot. That would be nice. Um, you could also grab the laser from one of your, uh, not Spartans, one of your ODST buddies. I forget which one has a Spartan laser, but one of them does, so you can grab it from him, and that one usually has four shots in it. Give me this turret. Missile pod turret. I'm trying to aim for the Phantom, but it's locking onto the Banshee. If you are locking onto the Phantom, you want to try to lock onto the front of the Phantom. Not where I am right now, that's kind of the side. You want to lock onto the front if you can, because that is where they are weaker. So they will take less shots there and go down quicker. And, uh... Is that going to go down anytime soon? There we go. Damn, Holmes. So, Alright, we're, uh, we're in decent shape. Hopefully both missile pods are available to you. Sometimes one, or maybe even both, are not, because uh, if someone shoots the missile pod and it just gets blasted off its mount, which is not cool. Not cool at all. So we're approaching the end here. The last phantom that comes in will drop off a bunch of jetpack brutes, so you'll probably have to dispose of some of those guys, because you probably won't be able to kill the uh, all the jet or the jetpack brute phantom in time for it to just, you know, kill everybody and not allow anybody to be deployed. There it is right here. You can see it just pops up from below, so you don't really have time to shoot it out of the air. And here they all come. And uh, so this is the last one. Technically, the last one that comes in is uh, going to come after this, but that just cues the cutscene because it's the one that the Chieftain is on, so it just cuts to the cutscene right there when that Phantom comes in. So at this point, we want to take out all these brutes as quickly as possible. I'm distracted by this Banshee apparently right now. But here are the Brutes making an appearance. And uh, we're just going to take them out as quickly as possible. So if you're good with the sniper, you can always just no scope them all. Uh, they should be pretty weak. They should take one or two shots with the sniper. We'll miss that one. How about that nose? Nope. Oh, no, I did get him. When Buck yells Chieftain, that signifies the end of the level, and I've never had that happen with Brute still alive, so that was kind of weird. But that is all, guys. Pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you later for the next one.